my name is Titima. Today I will walk you through how to use the server base with Intercross to collect crossing data. With our Kazawa base in the cross integration, users can use Kazawa base to generate in the cross import files. After collecting data in the field using in the cross, users can upload the crossing data back to Kazawa base. This crossing data will be automatically aggregated within Kazawa base. In this session, I assume that you already have some experiences with Kazawa base as well as Intercross. Intercross supports two different types of import files. Parent files which contain information about parents used in crosses and which list files which in addition to the parental information also contain additional info such as the minimum number and maximum number of each activity. So I'll show you how to use Kazawa Base to generate these two types of import files. After data collection, the crossing data is captured in the intercross export file. I'll show you how to use Kazawa Base to sort the data for each cross combination. Before we go through the details, it's important to understand how Kasawa Base captures your crossing data. Kasawa Base can store different types of crossing data, including parental information, cross type, field crossing data, seed lot, as well as progenies derived from the cross. All of the cr data related to each cross is linked to a unique identifier in the database, which we call the cross unique ID. Kasawa Base provides several levels of organization. Several crosses from the same crossing block or crosses done in the same year or crosses having the same breeding objective can be grouped together in a crossing experiment. How you want to group crosses in a ex crossing experiment is up to you. Crosses having the same parental genotypes can also be grouped in a family. Each level of data organization has its own details page. Crossing experiment is the top level of data organization in Kasawa Base. Crossing data from intercross will be sorted based on female and male parental combination, parental information, cross type, as well as all of the field crossing activities for each cross combination will be linked to a cross unique ID in Kasawa Base. All of the data will be aggregated within a crossing experiment. You can find the link for crossing experiments in the Manage Crosses page. Just like field trials, crossing experiments are organized based on breeding programs. The crossing experiment details page has all information of the crosses that you included in this crossing experiment. You can add or upload your crossing data from your spreadsheets without using intercross. However, today I will focus on the crossing data from the intercross. In the crossing experiment details page, I recently add the manage intercross section. You can generate parents and wishlist files as well as upload the export files from Intercross using this section. To use Kasawa Base with Intercross, the first step is to create a crossing experiment in Kasawa Base. The link for creating a crossing experiment is on the Manage Crosses page. Each dialog has a workflow that will guide you through the process step by step. Simply follow the instructions on the dialog. In the first page, you will see a description of the crossing experiment. On the next page, you will see the fields that you need to provide in order to create a crossing experiment. You need to specify crossing experiment name, select breeding program, and location, year, and description of the crossing experiment. Then click Submit. In the export file, there is a column called experiment, which you set up before collecting crossing data. The experiment name in the export file 
has to be the same as crossing experiment name in Kasawa base, and there should be one experiment name in each export file. After you create a crossing experiment, if you don't see your crossing experiment on the tree, just click the refresh button. Clicking on the crossing experiment link will bring you to the crossing experiment detail page. On the crossing experiment details page, when you generate parents or wishlist files or upload into cross export files, the file info as well as other metadata of the files will be displayed in the manage in the cross section. Information about parents for each cross combination will be displayed in the crosses in this experiment section. All crossing data such as number of flowers, number of fruits, number of seeds will be displayed in the field crossing data section. In the field crossing data section, you will see a link for uploading crossing data. Do not use this upload feature to upload into cross file. This upload link is used for uploading historical data which already has the final crossing data such as total number of flowers, total number of seeds. For the intercross file, Kasawa Base needs to aggregate the data for you in order to get the final information. For intercross files, please use only download or upload links in the manage intercross section. To download parents file, click on the download parent file button to open up the dialog. On the dialog, users just have to provide a list of female accessions and a list of male accessions, then download the file. For the wishlist file, starting from a list of female and male accessions, the dialog will provide additional fields for you to fill in information. You can indicate minimum and maximum numbers of each crossing data that you would like to obtain. Intercross supports three different types of crossing data, including flower, fruit, and seed. The files generated from Casal Base are compatible with Intercross. One advantage for using parents or wishlist files generated from Casal Base is that when you upload crossing data back to Casal Base, you will not have an issue with the parent names because the parent names used in Intercross are exactly the same as the parent names stored in Kasawa Base. You can see all of the previously created parents and wishlist files in the Manage Intercross section. You can view or download the file again if you wish. After data collection, data from Intercross can be uploaded back to Kasawa Base. There is a link for uploading the Intercross export file in the Manage in the Cross section. There's no need to wait until the end of the crossing season in order to obtain the final number of crossing data. Kasawa Base will store all of the activities as different transactions and at the same time will sum all of the data for each cross combination. Let's take a look at the Intercross export file. Intercross captures field crossing data of a specific female and male combination done at a specific time as one row of data. Each row has a cross DBID associated with data in each row. If you do the crosses again with the same female and male parents, but at a different time, Intercross will store the crossing data as another row. In this export file, even though there are a total of six rows with six different cross DBIDs, there are only three different female and male combinations. So in terms of field crossing data, the total number of flowers would be the sum of both days. So by uploading the export file, Casal Base will sort data from each cross combination and sum the data for you. I'll show you how it's done. As I mentioned earlier, you need to use this link in the Manage in the cross section to upload the intercross files. 
In the dialog, you will see the crossing experiment name. Please make sure that the, exper the crossing experiment name here is the same as the experiment name in the export file. The crossing experiment name will show up in the dialog by default because you are using Manage in the cross section in this crossing experiment details page. Next, you need to select a cross unique ID format. There are two options. You can use your customized cross unique ID previously stored in Excel base for your crossing data, or you can use auto generated cross unique ID. Let's talk about the auto generated cross unique ID first because it's much simpler. If you choose the auto generated cross unique ID option, the cross unique ID is a combination of crossing experiment name and incremental suffix number. There is a link for template information on that dialog. In the cross export file can be uploaded directly to Cassava Base. You should not modify anything on the export file. There are some column headers on the intercross file that I want to clarify. Intercross cross DBID is not a cross unique ID in Cassava Base. Cassava Base uses this cross DBID as transaction ID. In the cross female observation unit DBID and male observation unit DBID are unique names in Cassava Base. The names can be accessions, plots, or plan. As I mentioned earlier, once you have an export file, you can directly upload to Cassava Base. You don't have to worry about the column headers. If you choose the auto-generated clause unique ID option, you don't need to do anything else. Just choose the file that you want to upload. Then upload the file. Based on the data in this export file, first, Kazawa Base will check if each female and male combination is associated with any cross unique ID within this crossing experiment. If not, Kazawa Base will automatically generate a cross unique ID for you. So, as shown in this export file, Kazawa Base found that there are three different cross combinations and none of them is associated with a cross unique ID. Kassawa Base automatically generates a cross unique ID for each cross combination. For the field crossing data, Kassawa Base will aggregate data of each cross combination collected on different days and shows as a total number of each activity. In addition to the data on crossing experiment details page, each cross has its own details page as well. On the cross details page, you will see the total number of each crossing data as well as all of the transaction info of that particular cross combination. If you prefer to use your own cross unique ID format, you can choose the use your customized cross unique ID option. However, before you can upload crossing data from Intercross, you need to set up those cross unique IDs first, just like when you are uploading crossing data from a spreadsheet. You can use the upload new crosses link in the crossing experiment detail page or the upload link on the manage crosses page. I would recommend you to use the link on the crossing experiment page. If you use the upload new crosses link in the crossing experiment details page, you automatically add new crosses to that crossing experiment by default. If you use the upload link on the manage crosses page, you need to select a crossing experiment that you would like to use to aggregate your crossing data. Please check file format carefully. You have three different options for the parents used in the crosses. You can use accession names, plot names, or plan names as parent. For example, if you are using accession names as your parents, choose the accession names option. Another section will show up 
with the select file format information. Please check the column headers carefully. With the same intercross export file that we used earlier, if I want to use my own cross unique IDs, I have to create an Excel spreadsheet containing my own cross unique IDs, information about cross type, female and male parents. A cross combination field is optional. You don't need to memorize all of these details, just check the file format info. After uploading the crosses, you will see those crosses in the crossing experiment page. If you plan to have like 50 cross combinations from that crossing block, you can set up those cross unique IDs all at once. When you upload field crossing data from it cross, Kasawa Base will link field crossing data of each cross combination with the cross unique ID that you already store in Kasawa Base. Now let's see what happens when you use your customized cross unique IDs option. It is important that the crossing experiments that you select when uploading the field crossing data is the same as the experiment name on the intercross file. Otherwise, you will get an error message. Just like the auto-generated cross unique IDs option, Kasawa Base will aggregate field crossing data for each cross combination and link to the cross unique ID previously stored in Kasawa Base. It is important that each cross DB ID on the intercross file is unique throughout the whole crossing data collection process because Kasawa Base uses that identifier as transaction ID to keep track of the crossing data. You don't need to worry if you accidentally upload the same file twice. Cassava Base will check if the data from that transaction ID is already uploaded to Cassava Base. If Cassava Base detects that the transaction ID is already in the database, data associated with that transaction ID will be ignored. Also, if you have a good setup to make sure that CrossDB ID is unique even among multiple devices, you can have more than one person with different devices collecting data from the same set of cross combinations. Cassava Base will sort the data and aggregate the data for you based on the cross combination. How to make sure that CrossDB IDs are unique? First, do not reset the app during data collection. If you don't reset the app, Intercross will continue to generate new cross DB ID. Also, use different prefix or suffix for different devices used for collecting data on the same crossing block. If you use different prefix or suffix on different devices, cross DB ID will be unique even among multiple devices. To summarize the uploading process, first, creating a crossing experiment. For the cross unique IDs, if you choose the auto-generated cross unique ID option, you can just keep uploading the intercross file. If you choose to use your own cross unique IDs, you need to set up the cross unique IDs first, then uploading the intercross files. Please let me know if you have any question. Thank you.